If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, friends I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. Hey, what's good with y'all, man? <laughs> it's like, nah, let me get back to my upbeat voice. Hey, man, what's up? This your boy, I think I'm Hercules. Y'all already know how I do. I tell you guys, fibs, I have truce. I said every Thursday, but I would have next, would have last Thursday wasn't a Thursday for me or something of that nature. Just accept my apology as to why I don't stick to my scheduling and know that I will get better at it in time. <laughs> anyway, to guys, uh, I said two guys, <laughs> two guys, <laughs> two guys and gals. Okay. Moving on to the serious stuff. Um, hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. Had a blast. Um, hope some of you guys, whoever wanted to get like a new generation console, everybody get their hands on a new generation console. Hope you guys got some time in with family because you just never know. And I really mean that you uh, never know. Like, very, very super quick, f not funny story, but I guess Han said it's 20, 2020. Uh, like the 23rd. I was about to go visit a friend, and right before I visited my friend, my brother had sent me a text telling me that someone in the family had passed away, and it had shocked, rocked my world, and they told me that that person had been murdered, and I didn't know what to do, and then I literally, like, I was just so in shock, and I didn't know what to do, and then I actually get to talk to him, and we elaborate, and we're half-brothers, and uh, I... I uh, condolences and all that to him, but actually come to find out, it was a grandfather, it wasn't my grandfather, I mean, thought it was our shared grandfather, and it turned out to not be, and that's what I mean by that, just, anyway, I ain't here to talk you guys heads off about super sad stuff, I wanna make you guys feel good, you here to feel good, laugh and stuff like that, and be entertained, so that's what I try to do for you guys. Today I wanna give you guys a very quick, Getting back in the Warframe guide, so this is my first strike at like uh, tips, tricks, and guides of that nature. But I think I did a really, really good job and just hitting on some of the things I really was using my own personal experience as the way to tie in. Because if I need it, more than likely the next person they needed or someone before me has needed it and is still probably looking for it and send them this way. Uh, there are just some things I had to relearn or you know advice and tips I can give you guys for both returning players and players who have played a bit. I may have a different opinion for you guys to help you out. Number one, this is perhaps the biggest one. The improvements to the UI. Whether it be location parts, uh, blueprints, where to get what Warframe, or anything. Warframe has vastly improved in terms of how and where to acquire a weapon or Warframe. Um, when I just got back into like Warframe, I, I was still heavily relied on the internet, and that is a, still a big factor. But it was so cool once I went to the market, and um, you know, it's like just got back and want that cool West Warframe. No need to Google, cross search, in depth investigate. The best plan is just simply hover over her in the market, and they will tell you where and how to get not only her parts but her blueprints. If the parts or blueprints isn't available in the market itself, and the same goes for weapons such as the Acceltra, the Bubonico, like all types of weapons, no matter what they are, they're always now in the market as to show you where to get them from wonderful so streamlined that is like one of the most beautifully done updates i've ever seen thank you warframe number two moore's bar or moore's bazaar arbitration etc there are a lot of factions that offer varied rewards from good to honestly not so good as you guys progress through missions you will find these little like ayats and stars sometimes amber and sometimes cyan you use these to fill up Ayatan sculptures. You can decide what to do with these things. You can do one of two things. You can fill the sculpture and take it to Moore's Bazaar and trade it for amounts of, mass amounts of Endo, which for anyone that's been out of the loop for an extended period of time, we no longer use fusion cores. We use Endo to rank up our mods and the like. So you'll be using it for that. Or B, you can use it to decorate your orbiter, which is the inside of your ship, the interior of your ship. Speaking of which, um, you can... Decorate bonus tip. I didn't even write this. You can actually decorate the inside of your ship. For anyone who may have not known this, like there are a lot of people who are of like that 2014 or 2015 era Warframe before all those things came about. And you can actually model your war, uh, the inside of your Warframe with sculptures, uh, silo, uh, it's all just all an abundance of things. God damn it. This can be really helpful for new and returning players, new players who are getting an abundance of rare and pride mods and. 
uh, as well as for developed players and returning vets who want to max out a few things as the old mod system is gone like I said rest in peace R5 cores and the same thing goes for like uh, Cephalon Samaris, Tension, just check out some of these factions and these people because when I first hit quit, last time I quit, it was only uh, just Arbiters, like stuff like Arbiters of Hexus and Red Veil and things like that. But now with so many more factions, it almost seems like the Tenno are actually gaining alliances that has nothing to do with the Lotus. That's just a little lore part for anybody that's actually interested in the lore of Warframe. Number three. For all my vets and newer players, this is one thing, but so colossal, I'm going to split it into two. The overall theme is platinum management. Take it from a guy who has had 26 plat within like, within like when I got back on, had over 1,000 platinum in that same week, and was under 100 platinum in that same week. Guys, it's better to buy the relics for what you're looking for rather than just buy what you're looking for, depending on the situation. What I'm trying to tell you guys is, every time you need a prime part, don't always just get that prime part. And every time you need a prime part, don't just always get the relic. Use your own mindset to decipher what's worth it to you. Everyone experience is so different. Like, you can look on Reddit and everyone can sit there and tell you that this part is easy to get or that part's hard to get. But you just never know because it was hard for them to get. Our numbers aren't, it's, it's not static. It's a dynamic, it's a dynamic system. So, just decide for your, decipher for yourself. Um, so let me see where I was at with that, uh, oh yeah, like I was saying, sometimes it's better than just buy the relics of what you're looking for and just buy what you're looking for. Here's an example. If you need a low-key systems and the market for them is 240 platinum, me personally, okay, I would rather buy several relics that hold this part and farm those because if I get two just, just two of them, guys. If I can literally just get two Loki systems, right? That's literally I, I just I just got myself 480 platinum. You know, uh, 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 averaging, right? Let, let, let's say like let's say I'm already somebody that has a Loki Prime system. Like you can, I'm saying you can use this, guys. Like just because you already have a Loki Prime, you can go there, buy the relics, and and, and make mass amounts of platinum off of selling the most valuable Prime parts on the game. Number three was platinum management, as it pertains to primes and the like, but this is about overall platinum management. I'm talking Orkin, Catalyst, Reactors, Slots, and the like. Guys, pick and choose what to buy, um, and this is the opposite of what you think. If you just got back into the game like I was and you were missing Wisp, Hildren, Korra, Grendel, Protea, Harrow, just, just, just to name a few, I was missing more than that. Just pick and choose which to grind and which to buy. Because trust me, guys, let me tell you what's more valuable than the platinum you're holding on to right now. Your time, your literal life essence and energy. <laughs> A lot of the newer frames are hitting behind multi-day grinds that requires just some of the most tedious grinding with fishing and, and, and mining and, and bounties and it goes over several days like you can't just do these things in days and let's not forget it takes a warframe 12, 12 hours for one part three days for the whole frame so like you just you're, like let's say like you're looking at like if you just getting on and you don't have no standing with no one you're looking at literal i probably like a like i'm talking at minimum a week a week and a half to get someone like hildren you're, you're, you're probably waiting like two weeks to get someone like, oh my God, if your star chart isn't complete, do you know how long you're waiting to get someone like Grendel? You're wasting your time. Just buy the frame and then use that one frame who was super hard to farm and get things that are actually in the game worth farming. You know what I mean? That That's just my opinion on it. Now, some people don't like spending platinum on a regular frame. And they'd rather just wait it out and get a prime. But me, I'm a collector, right? I'm a collector and then a throwawayer. So I collect it because it's, it's the only way to have a Grendel now. And then when it's time for a prime, when Grendel prime comes out, I will literally delete my Grendel and use that Warframe slot for my Grendel prime. That's just how I play. Um, I don't need to have like a frame and then a prime. And then especially as of now, I'm getting too lost in the sauce. Let me just get my muscle back in. Okay, like I was saying, a lot of newer frames are hitting behind multi-day grind walls that require tedious grinding and rep, which is the game, you know, but I pick and choose 
like what is fun. I like arbitration. I can grind Grendel, but I don't like Grandum Void. So I can buy Protea, you know? And what I mean is just like pick and choose, guys. Don't hold on to your plat because I am the epitome of a rich, broke Warframe player. The plat comes and goes, but your move forever shifts if the game feels like a job and not a game. Just get some things with platinum and trust me, it'll boost your fun. And avoid buying mass amounts of orc and catalysts and reactors like me. <laughs> Number five. And last but not least, some activities I found to be most fulfilling. This is just an advice on some things that you guys can do as long as, as well as if you don't have these, you, you probably should gear towards it. Um... What I tried to take into account in this one was rewards offered, level of fun slash involvement, the way it ties into the lore because I am a lore, I'm a lore lord. <laughs> oh my god, I should make a second YouTube channel called like the lore lord. Is that a thing? Hey, if someone takes that idea, guys, y'all gotta be my Hercules and defend me. I came up with that, the lore lord. Anyway, um, and things of that nature. Um, the activities to me. That seems to be the most worth it in terms is is always gonna be prime farming if you ask me. Prime just just, just getting prime parts is just it's just always gonna net you platinum. It's always gonna net you like I mean unless you have it all, but it's it just it's always just a good platinum thing. It's always pretty fun, and it's it's a big mix of things to do. Like you always get different rewards. You're always literally getting different rewards. The most common reward would be like a former blueprint which is no one ever complained that he got a former blueprint. I don't get mad when I got him. I only have sixteen. I need a few. Um, the act, uh, so, okay, so far, I think arbitration is probably the most worthwhile thing right now. They give you some of the best, best things. Eidolons, farming, the farming, uh, the Eidolon, Terralis, Hydralis, and Gargantulus. Isolation vaults and the heart of Deimos. If you haven't done these, here's a simple checklist. Uh, if you're missing one of these things, you're missing out on major streamlining, meaning just making things easier on you, or you're missing on actual large content. For new and returning players, Arcwing. Free roam is a living hell without an Arcwing and an Arcwing launcher. It enables you to fly and, and traverse the map, the free roam map, so much easier. Azal which is a way to create your own melee weapon. A kit gun, which is a way to create your own gun. A hemloof, which is a way to take Warframe abilities from other Warframes and put them and bet them into certain Warframes. Note that there are obviously restrictions to this. You're already a fucking demigod, guys. Do not get mad that you can't put something like uh, Rhino Skin on Rhino Skin on your, like, fucking Saren or something. Like, I don't know. Like, don't be mad you can't take your you can't make your warframes literal gods they're already literal gods it's just chill out guys there's certain abilities to it anyway um so you also got to the k drive you can create your own hoverboard you got create an amp that's not your mo amp that is matter of fact work on the inside of your your operator work on your operator so your focus tree and last but not least which would probably be the end of all these things once you did all those things you should probably craft a necromat guys necromat has been perhaps the funnest thing i've done on warframe in a long time i really hope they make necromats like almost like a set of warframes i i, I feel like they can be bigger and so much better than uh arc uh, arc wings like i think they can do so much stuff with the Necromex system. The Necromex feel powerful. You shooting their guns feel good. And I only have the shooting Necromex now, but I can only imagine what the melee one does. That's all I have today, guys. That was just tips, tricks, guides, and just that was just a just things that things that you need to know in Warframe, things that you mean not know in Warframe, and things that you can do in Warframe. I'm gonna just call this Warframe something. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share it to your friends, and share it to your friends' friends. You already know who I am. I'm out. I think I'm Hercules. Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nato arachnids. Bounce like shit. I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip.